it was just a, a, I cried a lot, didn't I? I think I probably cried more for the NICU journey than than the C-section stuff. Teen Mom star Kaylin Lowry is sharing more details about her birth journey. The now mom of seven who welcomed twins last year tears up during the January 26th episode of her Barely Famous podcast as she recalls her baby spending weeks in the neonatal intensive care unit after being born prematurely. They weren't just there for a couple of days. Like we, we went through the journey for weeks and, you know, I learned so much about the families in, you know, that are in the NICU. Some of them are there for months and months. This new revelation comes just one week after the 31 year old confirmed she and boyfriend Elijah Scott officially welcomed the twins, her sixth and seventh children, who she refers to in the podcast as baby A for her son and baby B for her daughter. The reality star tearfully explains that one of her biggest challenges during the twins' NICU stay was wondering if the differences she observed between the two newborns was normal. I wanted to know if what I was seeing was normal. Like you're not, I had never seen a baby in my life not wake up to eat or like want or, or show signs of hunger. Like she would just sleep through feeding. She'd never have any feeding cues. And then when she, when I tried to feed her, she would not take a bottle. And that was really difficult because I'm looking at him, you know, and I'm seeing, you know, he's in the NICU for some of the same reasons, but also he's taking a bottle. He's not having an issue with that. The Pennsylvania native is candid about her fear of welcoming the twins via C-section, but admits that her time in the NICU ended up being much scarier. It was just, I, I cried a lot, didn't I? I think I probably cried more for the NICU journey than, than the C-section stuff. Kaylin says the difficult situation then became even more complicated when her and Elijah's son was released from the NICU before his twin sister. And it was an hour drive there, an hour drive back. And then I didn't want to just, when I was there, I would be there for hours because I didn't want to just like sit Say there. Hi and then mm -hmm. And then we had six other kids because once he was discharged from the NICU, we had him at home. She was away from her twin. We were away from her. And then when we were home, we couldn't process it here either because there was so much going on here. The MTV alum is also mom to sons Isaac 14 with ex Joe Rivera, Lincoln 10 with ex Javi Marroquin, Lux 6 and Creed 3 with ex Chris Lopez and baby Rio with Elijah. Kayla then shares that after some time, they were finally able to bring their baby girl home and she's now focused on mommy daughter bonding time. Also, I think that there's a big difference between the twins in terms of like, because she was in the NICU by herself for so long, for so many weeks, and then he was home, she's more okay by herself. Like she's gotten used to being by herself because she only got cares every three hours where mm -hmm. like we were home with him. Does that yeah, make sense? Somebody was always like with him. Holding, yeah, holding him. Um and all of that. So I think there's there's been some differences there. But now that she's home, I feel like my bonding experience has been so much better. And despite the heart-wrenching experience, Kaylin says everything is good now with her family being complete. And she's just grateful to have happy, healthy babies. But I'm just so thankful. I feel grateful. I feel fulfilled. I feel thankful. Did I say thankful already? Yes. Grateful, thankful, fulfilled, happy, complete. Um, we're putting an addition on our house because of this, <laughs> like, um, you know, yeah. I, but I feel so blessed. Like I don't have, and there truly are good babies. Like despite the emotional journey that is the NICU, they're very good babies.